In the last five years, there's a lot happening between Australia and China. I think there's not a lot understood about Australia and China culturally, and, and probably vice versa. Eastern and Western logic or thinking don't necessarily see eye to eye. The exhibition really is, is speaking about China and Australia, but in many ways really deals with the issue of glo globalisation. How do artists communicate their concerns or their interests or their ideas about this sort of growing uh, uh, phenomenon? The exhibition is um, a bridge to link the cultural exchange between Australia and China. Actually, we live a society where many cultures clash so without understanding each other. The idea was that we would do a show that was very China-centric, but in actually thinking about the uh, exhibition itself, what we ended up doing was uh, uh, being involved in that, changing the rationale to some degree to make it more about the two cultures. The tower comes in nine levels, and the tower is actually based on Peter Bruegel's painting. So it's a, it's a computer-generated version of Peter Bruegel's Tower of Babel. So at the, at the base of the tower, uh, that's before Western contact, when China was, in effect, pure. And by the time we get to level four, Western contact becomes quite uh, frequent. You know, the same consumption level and the same carbon footprint level as Western living habits. And after level four, I think it's get where we are now, we have to now be very thoughtful, careful about how things are managed, say, in, in urban China, you know. So there's a whole range of different ideas being discussed within the exhibition. So the artists were specifically chosen because they worked across a whole range of ideas. The, the work itself is made from approximately 20,000 pencils, white pencils, um, glued together and cut and carved. And I was interested in the idea of an idiomatic expression being something where, where an idea is abstracted. And, and particularly this idea of the clouds and the rain is an image of landscape which is abstracted in a poetic way. Well, I think um, as an artist, I studied with a whole bunch of Chinese students. And the ideas that I received through conversation with the Chinese students were very different to the conversation that was happening in Australia. Um, particularly one of my classmates really instilled in me a kind of new excitement about portraying beauty in work and beauty about being something really highly transformative that people could go into the gallery and see something beautiful and it could have endless um, possible inspiration for anybody. Some of them are more about personal identity and cultural identity. Some of them are more about the idea of language and how that uh, you know, impacts on uh, different you know, differences. So for the cultural exchange, I think the art exhibition um, should be a very great way to help the people to um, understand each other. And uh, if we can keep doing more uh, projects like this, the Zhongjian Midway exhibition um, allows Australian and Chinese to achieve this. Actually, when Xiaoming was living in Sydney, he had this uh, initial idea to make works by uh, animal bones. And then he went back to China, and then he completed his own works in China. Yes, actually this kind of work, is uh, the technique is totally than the traditional sculpture technique. Uh, even though he had 50 pieces of those cabbages, but each cabbage, cabbages are different, or totally different. And he buy the cabbages, but he took all of the leaves out and make cast. And he do that and then reassemble them, assemble them. And it's become each individual cabbages. They all made uh, by the animal bones and bone powder and some glue. From cow to mice and include human bone, all this, yeah.
an exhibition like this really is about, well, how do we deal with those sorts of uh, issues that come out of globalisation? Uh, how do artists communicate their concerns or their interests or their ideas about this sort of growing uh, uh, phenomenon? And so the exhibition really is uh, speaking about China and Australia, but in many ways really deals with the issue of glo globalisation on a much broader level as well. Well, the exhibition uh, Zhongzhen Midway uh, opens at Wollongong City Gallery. It's an uh, official Australian opening uh, on uh, Friday the 9th of uh, October at 6.30. And uh, we're hoping to have a, a terrific uh, attendance here. We're very excited about it and many of the artists will be here from China and Australia as well. So we look forward to uh, having that show open here soon.